So, you ready to talk? What do you want from me? <laughs> Calm down, man. You act like I was gonna kill you. I just want you to make a prop for me. Well, I mean, since it's Halloween, I mean, all I want to know is just how you make props because you're so good at it. Now, I understand that tying you up was a bit of excessive, but... Uh, what? It's already past Halloween. Oh, it is? Oh, crap. Well, can you still show me how to make props anyway? What exactly do you want me to build for you? I just want to know how you can make my little Lucille here. I mean, that's all. Uh, okay. I, I can do that. This is Kai's DIYs. <laughs> Here I am again guys, late once again, I'm sorry. I just wanted to clear up a few things. I was very, very busy last month, so I wasn't able to get to a Halloween episode, but next year I will be. But this year I was super busy working on my friend's mask and I was unable to catch up on sleep, and I wasn't able to catch up on actually making any videos because of that reason. Also, I'm working on a few Christmas presents for my friends, and they are a really big pain right now, so that's why I wasn't able to catch up. I have a really bad habit of compiling things that I need to do all together in one ball and then just never accomplishing any of it in time. So here is a late Halloween episode. By the way, I made this specific prop twice a few years ago. The first one I made for my sister and then the other one I made for myself. So I'll be showing you how to make Negan's Bat Lucille in two different ways. So you'll get to see a younger me because I filmed this years ago. No long haired me for this Halloween episode. Let's get to building. Since I made this about three years ago, I never got the idea to make a DIY show, so this episode will be a little different from my normal formula. So let me know what you think if I should edit my videos my way or the way I edit this video. I also filmed myself building a box for the bat since the first attempt was a present for my sister. Firstly, we'll need a bat. I got this baseball and bat set at Walmart since it's got the wood greens and it's the right length. This will be perfect. Only thing is, it has a bit of a concave shape on the tip and the bottom has a hole. We can easily cover those with some plumber's epoxy. I mixed up some epoxy and filled in the top of the bat making a rounded tip for the bat. Don't worry if it's not perfectly smooth, once it hardens, we'll be able to sand it. And where the epoxy meets the plastic bat will be covered by the fake barbed wire we'll be making. The wire was made out of old AV cables I found around my house. Some cords didn't work for my console, while others were attached to old equipment that were broken. If you can't find any around your place, you can easily find cheap AV cables in stores and online. The barbs for the fake wire was made out of smaller, thinner wire that I found from an old power supply from a computer in a trash I found. You can find smaller wire from old toys or in stores too. At first, I thought about making the barbs by cutting little strips and wrapping it a few times around one of the thicker wires with about half an inch sticking out on each end, then wrapping another piece in the same section to make four barbs. Later, I cut little strips and made an S shape and wrapped another strip around that. Either method will work, so it's up to you. Using black, brown, beige, and silver spray paint, I got to painting the bat and the wires. For the bat, I used beige as a base coat. I actually recommend using a primer. Then a layer of brown. I painted the wire silver, and once it was dry, I used a sponge to paint on two layers of Mod Podge. Because spray paint on wires make it very sticky, Mod Podge only helped a little to remove the stickiness. Using more beige paint, I dry brushed some of the wood grain areas to make it look more like wood. I went back and forth with the brown and beige paints so they would mix smoothly. I added the black oval on the bat using a sharpie for extra detail. Now, if you're making a cosplay that requires a bat, you could just stop here, but this is Lucille. So we're going to put the barbs on the wire and wrap another long thick wire around that to make fake barbed wire. After making at least three feet of wire, it was time to wrap it. I wrapped a section over the tip of the bat and continued adding more to the end and spacing it towards the middle. I used staples for a stapler to hold the wire on the bat. To put the staples into the bat, I took one staple off the strip at a time and used a hammer to stick them in. Now that was Lucille. Version one. Let's let Kai show you how to make the other version. Another baseball and bat set with some paint. But for this one, I got some fake barbed wire decoration from Walmart. This was already made, and all I needed to do was paint it silver, paint on Mod Podge, and wrap my bat. 
pretty much the same thing as the first version, but with pre-made wire. Now I made the bats this way because some comic conventions don't allow actual bats inside. And if you were to make a real Lucille, well, that's an obvious definite no-no. There are some people that have made real ones, and prop ones, and I've used both of these bats in my Omegle prank videos on my first channel. If you haven't seen those, link will be in the description below. They're really funny, and I've had a lot of fun chatting with the people on there. Two very different Lucilles, made in their own unique way. It's up to you how you want to build it. Now Kyle, let me do the outro for this video. Thank you for watching, and he'll be back sometime. I don't know when, but we'll be able to give you some more videos. We'll give you the get-go when we feel like it. Okay, it's time for you to go. Oh my god. I was actually trying to pretend to hit the lens. <laughs> oh my, wow. I've been thinking about buying a new lens for so, so long, and I feel like the time is right now. Trying to hit my camera with a plastic bat. <laughs>